Thank you for sticking around, guys. Now, before the, when we were off uh, to break, I was speaking to Roshan, and he said, Shankri, I'm more of a jeans, T-shirt, and sneakers guy. I don't really accessorize. That's so true. Maybe you could learn a thing or two. Maybe. You know? Very true. I men, can learn something new. Men can accessorize, and they can look very sharp. Now, oftentimes, when we put together an outfit for a night out or any other occasion, the finishing touch to the ensemble is the accessories. Now, a bold pair of earrings, a necklace with an exotic design, or a classic timeless watch may be just what you need to complete the look. Today, we'll be sitting down with accessory designer Sarla Devi to find out what it takes to channel creativity into creating beautifully elegant yet expressive accessories for a woman's fashionable needs. Welcome to Viva Sarla. Hi. I All can right. see that you're having some of your accessories. You're yes. wearing some of them. Yeah, it's uh, even the jacket is yeah. created by me and the jewelry as well. Wow. wow. So you are there representing your brand. But we've got yes. to go back in time. Mm -hmm. As a child, were you always a creative person in terms of you were mix and match uh, the stuff you had at home? Or did that slowly come about as you grew older? Uh, yes, it slowly came as I grew older. Yeah. And as a child, I always had uh, something different. So, I mean, like my cousins or my friends, they dress in a certain way, but mm. I'll be a bit, I can say, odd. Yeah, different. Or unique. Expressive. <laughs> yes, yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's the right word, expressive. <laughs> yeah, so that's how it all started. Yeah, and even back in my school, yeah. uh, I mean, if my school friends are listening, they would laugh. Uh, I actually will have my socks up to my knee. Okay. And that was like an identity for me. If like they didn't know my name, they'll say, oh, the girl with the long socks? Right. <laughs> kind of I actually had a way of holding my socks. We might have had something going on <laughs> right there. But anyway, moving on. Um, how did you get into graphic and fashion design? Okay, um, let me just tell about my family first. Mm. Yeah. Uh, my family is a very traditional family. Mm. And my brother and my sister, mm. uh, okay, my brother is a system analyst in the US. Mm. My sister is a CEO in one of uh, the NGO company. Mm. So they are very, uh, economically, they are very intelligent. Yeah. Mm. Whereas me, I'm like very artistic. Mm -hmm. So I told them that I'm not going to be an engineer or <laughs> software analyst or anything mm. like that. Yep. I wanted something like more creative. Mm -hmm. So my brother, Vignes, when he actually said, um, yes. why don't you... What did your brother say? He said, uh, okay, why don't you try graphic design? Mm. But I told them like, why not fashion design? Mm -hmm. And then my parents, being traditional parents, they mm -hmm. say, oh, fashion design, you can't survive, it's not nice, or something mm -hmm. like that. And I thought, OK, I'll make you happy. I'll do graphic design. Mm. So I studied graphic design, and I started my career as a graphic designer mm -hmm. in Malaysia's uh, English Daily. Mm -hmm. yeah. And after that, uh, my six, I have been in, gra I mean, I have uh, been working as a graphic designer for 16 years. Oh, wow. So my sixth year uh, as a graphic designer, I thought, OK, so now I have my own money. Mm. So why don't I sponsor my own studies? Mm. So I went and studied fashion design ah. while I was still working. Oh, wow. And how hard was that to, you know, do both work and study at the same time? Because you hear the story so often, and at times you hear about the struggles. For you, what was the biggest challenge there? There was no challenge, actually. You know, the thing is, when you want something, how bad you want it. Mm. Mm. Okay, when you, just like if you go into, I mean, this is just an example. If you love somebody, if you love a woman, if you love a girl, yeah. you go all out, you go yeah. out there to really get her, right? Yeah. Mm. You're not going to say, oh, it's challenging, she lives in London, oh, it's challenging. You'll take the flight and you'll go and see her, right? Mm. It's how much you want it, the hunger in you. Mm. It's like your burning desire. Mm. So if you have to do it, you just have to do it. No excuse. Wow. Mm. That's and a, uh, perhaps... That's one of the best explanations I've heard in my life, then, and I can really relate to that. <laughs> yes. That's how I captured my wife. It's almost, oh wow, it's almost That's warmer so in the nice. studio from that burning desire mm. to get your, you know, to pursue your passion. But um, let's talk about what led you into designing accessories. Okay, so, okay, that's uh, one of the questions that I really like because I like explaining that. Mm. Uh, since I have studied, uh, my base, my foundation was in graphic design. So in graphic design, we do have photography, mm. we have illustration and all these things. And then I did fashion design. So fashion is outfit and mm. creation and assembling your, your look. So I was thinking like, all right, so I want to do all this in one. So accessory design was the closest thing. I can do photography, I can do graphic design, I can do sculpting, painting. Mm. I can express a lot of things through accessory. 
You know, mm-hmm. like today, I feel like I want to be like something like mysterious. So jellyfish are mysterious. Wow, ah. okay. You know, and so is octopus. Oh, they are very that's mysterious. A, that's a jellyfish. Oh, yes. Right, now I get it. Okay. So, yeah. But have you, you know, you, you really want to put your story out there in your, mm. in your accessories. Have you ever thought of doing that with perhaps clothes? I've done that, yes, mm. uh, and it's not something that uh, I do not want to pursue. Yes, I do want to pursue, but with uh, commitment, you know, a lot of commitment and a lot of uh, challenges, uh, it's along the way, but right now I just want to focus on accessory designing, mm. which uh, when I travel for my showcases, I get good response. People mm. come and talk their stories. They, they tell me how it resonates to them, mm. you know, all these things. And it's wonderful. You can actually hear uh, how your accessory, your creation, mm. you know, resonates to people. And they tell you all these stories and you feel like you can connect with people no matter where they are from, you know. Mm. Has there been any designer out there who has actually inspired maybe some of your work or is it just on a day-to-day basis where you see something and, okay, that's an idea, I can pull that off? That's that. Yeah, I do that also. Mm. And I like uh, designs from, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, uh, Van Clef, mm-hmm. Apple. That's my inspiration because I find uh, that brand's dear creation, mm. it's something uh, very uncommon, unique, and something that women like me, who's mm. bold, who's, uh, you know... Not afraid. Not afraid, yeah, mm. to express yourself, you know, when it's needed, mm. you know. So I felt like these are the collection that, you know, inspires me because I don't like, like, you just create beads and, you know, you just put things, mm. assemble. I'm not, I'm not into assembling things, mm. but creating something from scratch. Mm-hmm. Now, um, you know, and that's what Sarlas is all about, yeah. your accessories labels. Tell us how you started Sarlas. Uh, okay, so I was working in one of my fashion photo shoot in US, in Arizona. Mm-hmm. So that night, uh, uh, this photo, uh, I mean, like we already had our model, our photographer. Uh, so I was cre- uh, preparing my outfit uh, mm-hmm. for the model. Mm-hmm. Guess what happened? When I was ironing, you burned, burned it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So no. yeah, then I was crying and I told my brother, my sister-in-law, and they were all very sad. Mm. And then I was thinking, okay, enough of crying. I, crying is not going to solve anything. I was sad that thing. I was like talking to Almighty. What are you doing this to me? Why? Why? Why mm. now? Why not uh, last week? Why yeah. now? Because mm. uh, in five hours, I'm going to have a shoot. Mm. And I was thinking, okay, let's fix it. Mm. Let's create some assemble. So I tried to cover that patch mm. and I was thinking like, okay, with this, I really need an accessory. Mm. So I did it, you know, in just a few hours. It, I did it with fabric. So the beautiful part of the shoot was we were doing outdoor shoot mm. and this aerobic class, there are a lot of people dancing. So the photographer asked me to go and take the reflector. Mm. So while I was taking, people just stopped dancing and Arabic, right? So they stop dancing. They say, is there some actress coming? They're looking at the model. Right. Is that some actress? Is that some shoot? Oh, look at her outfit. Look at an accessory. Oh. You know, it's so beautiful. And I was like, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't know it was me standing there. And I mm. was like, wow. I mean, they don't know me. They don't mm. know who I am. They don't know where I'm from. But the way they express it, I was thinking like, but they were talking more on the accessory. Mm. So it was, and then I was thinking, so why don't I do this? You mm. know, uh, since people like it, so so let's try. And, and I thought, okay, yeah, that's how it, everything started. Mm. You know, you mentioned mm. that you'd like to come up with new things, create new items. So with regards to your accessories, is there any material you don't touch or is there, it's an open book for you with regards to the material for the accessories? Okay, right now I just work in three materials. Mm. The, my main one is polymer clay. Mm. Uh, because in polymer clay you can create wonders. Mm. From scratch you just create wonders. Another one is braided cord and the third one is fabrics. The mm. fabric is the one that I use for the shoot which was a sensation that day. Yeah. Mm, all right. You know, Sarla, I've got a confession. I'm a little ambitious at time, and if you go back to my Facebook way back, there's actually a, an album where I tried to make accessories, and they look very horrible. But I'm not deleting that album because it's part of me. Um, but speaking of which, I actually just started doing it, and then I just lost focus because, mm. you know, it's hard. How important is it to stay focused when you're creating an accessory? Okay. When you create an accessory, the most important thing is you have to dive into the world of creation. You have to just look around. Everything is an inspiration. Mm. Everyone is an inspiration. 
for me nature is my biggest inspiration mm -hmm. you know even when i drive i start in jam mm -hmm. i don't be, I, i won't get stressed i was like oh my god it's right i've never get stressed i'll just look around listen to the music and it, everything just happens you know it just happens even when you look at a billboard anything that everything is communicating with us mm -hmm. we just have to listen mm -hmm. because every time like we always listen uh, or we always talk or we always listen in in order to reply but we are not really listening mm -hmm. to our surrounding mm -hmm. it's all connection it's very unique connection that we have You know, when I look at an accessory, uh, especially with Shankri, as you mentioned, <laughs> I don't have much. But when I look at it in terms of size, it's not the biggest thing in the world. Mm. So, what are the challenges uh, when it comes to actually the size of it, with regards to designing an accessory, the size? The size has uh, not a challenge. Mm. Uh, I mean, like uh, you see, the best part of accessory is it doesn't have a gender. Mm. It has no age restriction. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay. I mean, anybody can wear it, mm. and after you're done with it, you can pass to your kids or your sister yep so it is something that is very universal it's very general and it also universal i mean everybody mm. can wear it so it doesn't have a uh, like i say a, a specific thing like only you can wear it you cannot wear it it has no size it has no ethnicity so that is beautiful about accessories mm. like outfit like you have to go according to size mm. yeah. accessories are not like that mm -hmm. anybody can wear it mm -hmm. you just have to have the guts have to be expressive and work it yeah <laughs> just work your looks go yep. with the flow and one more thing i would like to say is keep it simple but significant ah you know go with the flow you have to have a focus mm. you can't you can't get lost with your looks when mm. people look at you besides your features your beautiful mm. features they need to see what else mm. right so you give the focus like Okay, Roshan is a good-looking guy. Shankri is a beautiful person, mm -hmm. and then I'll see your beautiful jacket, right? Right. So that is your focus besides your beautiful features. Mm. So you need to have a focus. You can't get lost with, you know. See, if I wear this, I can't wear a chunky earring. Yeah. And I'll go like, uh, you know, decorated tree. You yeah. Know? So what in, you're saying is less is more. Exactly. You know, Simple was, and significant. The, there's this um, designer, fashion designer, who was one of my, um, you know. Inspiration, or one who actually coached me through, mentored me through fashion. What he said before leaving, walking out with your door, remove one piece of accessory. Yes, so that's you a quote as well. Uh, focus. Now speaking of focus and actually paying attention when you're creating all this, this um, pieces of art, wearable art with such intricate detail. How much of attention do you have to pay to detail? A lot of attention, mm -hmm. tremendous attention. And you know, sometimes after creating it, you have to drop it. You know, oh. you have to see if it breaks. You have to know your products, because like when people say, "I bought your product and this happened," you should know it's genuinely people telling, mm. because they want to return. Mm. So you you need to know your product in and out. You wow. see, it's very important to create the product and the service. Mm. Money comes later. Mm -hmm. Money is important, but it's secondary. Mm. Your products have to speak because you are not starting something that you want to close tomorrow. Mm. It's going. It should be something over the years progress, mm. not you know. Going down. down yeah. Yeah. But we're going to go up because 2016 is almost at its end. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of what's up in the pipeline for you, your brand itself, could you share what's uh, you know what we can expect? Okay, so in 2017, I have a uh, few requests mm -hmm. to display and showcase my work in one of the art gallery in US. Wow. wow. Okay, so I want this to be an ongoing thing. Mm -hmm. I want my work to be displayed in reputable galleries worldwide. That's one my number one uh, mission right now, and also participate uh, in more fashion showcases abroad. Mm. You know, uh, displaying my work. I want it to be ongoing because right now I just like do it uh, uh, once a year mm. or twice a year. So mm -hmm. it has to be something ongoing. Right, and we wish you all the luck for that. Thank you very much. It's going to take a lot of hard work and yes, um, you know to. Persevere through yeah. all of that, but good luck Thank you. and keep us posted on what's coming up next sure. on Sarlas. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. I all think the right. most important thing from all three guests today is the fact that they never gave up. They kept pursuing their dreams yeah. and they made it a reality. So you know, guys, everyone who's watching today, if you feel that you're lost in this cloud of you know being undecided and mm. don't know what you want to do, guess what? You can actually make it. Perhaps it takes some time. 
Yeah. Perhaps it takes a little inspiration or soul searching, but you will eventually make it. And I hope also that you will make it to watch <laughs> our next week's show. Yeah, because yes. Dr. Sharda, or rather, let me get this right, Dr. Sharad Ratna, yes, <laughs> is back to round up his series on all matters of women's health with a discussion about sexual health. Mm -hmm. And we'll also be joined by MMA fighting brothers Keanu and Gianni Suba to find out how they are punching their way to MMA success. And on V Arena, we continue our feature the combat of Muay Thai with part three of our series ah, and keep writing to us guys at vivas at astro.com.my and also do follow us on Instagram at vivas underscore HD my name is Shankri I'm Roshan enjoy your weekend bye bye bye